Hello again YouTube! I wanted to do an update to address any of the other questions that I did not address and to just update on the adventures of the yurt. So the yurt has been packed up for the winter and I have recently put him out here in the backyard in this place that I am I am renting um, with with peoples and for just kind of for fun we use it uh, we have an extension cord up in here where we have a projector and we have movie nights on the ceilings uh, when it's really hot during the day we can close it up and use it as a dry sauna where we just sit in there until like right when you're just about to get like or right right when you like just break out with sweat from, like rolling off your face then you just jump out and then go inside for a cold shower it's like really it's really nice and just like yeah just a nice little chill out space before like the real camping season hits and uh because of that and because of where i live this guy has now weathered through snow as well as the rain and hail that he has survived for quite a little bit and that is I mean at least like an inch of snow now I would very much not recommend you ever 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 uh, let let your uh, your bell tent your thing around snow because it definitely sinks sink, sinks the walls sinks into it a little bit and it's not good for like that upper upper little support there it was all I was worried but he was good all is good all is good with the yurt I guess I'm calling it a he now so sorry about that but that happened yeah it's he's worked it's worked out pretty well it's every time I open it up it just gets more and more yellow that's the worst thing it just is it's, it's gonna be yellow I've had people ask about painting and putting things onto it and like I don't I don't know I'm not the expert to talk to about whether you can paint tents I mean I'm sure you can just spray paint the thing and but I mean in terms of I don't know. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to. I mean, I could. I could just imagine it like just soaking up too much heat, and then it being like super hot and musty or something. But I mean, it's, it's like it's not like it's it's breathable material anyway. So I don't, I don't know. I, it's not that. Last time I checked, actually, this tent has gone up a little bit. Like when I bought it, it was like 100 bucks. Now it's probably like 140 or something. So I mean, you know, it's still 140. Like you don't want to just damage that for that but you know I mean you know if, if, if the color really gets to you I'm sure sure you can you can deal with that if you really want to extend a life of this dude so my most commented thing has been about this little hole because I, I made a deal about that in my first video but yeah I understand it now I mean that's the only purpose I'd see why you'd have that unless you had a generator outside like because if you're like right next to a house or if you had a generator but yeah, it's cool. It's nifty. It works. It's a thing. Also, I still prefer tying these up over here. I know there are loops on the inside, but those loops kind of screw those loops. These, this looks a lot nicer, and it's held up very well towards like any sort of wind. And I just don't ever leave the uh, screen open, as you shouldn't either, because bugs will get in this thing. And when bugs get in this thing, they like to go up towards the top. And when they go up towards the top, then you got a head full of bugs, and that's not cool. It's not cool at all. Okay. So, I did have some other questions that are important for people who are interested in buying this thing. Uh, it can fit two queen size mattresses, 13 by 13s. I gave all the specs and all that stuff in other videos. You can check that out, I suppose. But, um, one important question was how much actual like space do you have to walk around? Because like that that is kind of a big deal for some people. And I mentioned, and I'll do it demonstrating this, is I'm about five foot nine and I have about three feet from the center where my head is just like slightly grazing the top and I'm still standing up full upright. So a circle, about a three foot radius, and when you come up to here. Up towards the entrance I can walk basically until like about a foot and a half in front of the door <laughs> so I like a good there's I mean you do the math I don't want to do the square footage of that I did jump I'm out of college I haven't done that math in a bit but it can be done you can figure it out I'm five foot nine 
do your height. If you're six foot one, probably not the tent. I mean, it's better than a lot of tents. Better than a lot of tents. But but not, it might not be the tent for you, depending on how big, how tall you are. And yeah, the uh, one other important thing to mention is uh, tents, as well as uh, campers and trailers and all that stuff. Um, not for the tall. Good for little people. Very good for little people. Little mansions on wheels. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good, it's a good, good little spot. I also got this guy. Look at that. This is doesn't pertain to this at all. With this hook off. A little rocking chair. It's kind of cool. Pretty awesome. Kind of redundant to have like a walking, uh, a, a hiking rocking chair though, because like how often do you actually find like flat land? But sometimes I do. It's pretty cool. I enjoy. I, I'm still happy I got it. It's just kind of weird. All right, and to address the setup process, I will put a video in here. Right now. So what you probably have noticed was an extensive period of readjustment. So the average time of setup is really about like 10 minutes, but it's all going to depend on the land that you're on. And like sometimes, and, and the angles that you work with, sometimes you start off setting these up at a weird angle and it takes you forever and you have to actually readjust over and over again and try to get the thing perfect. And Sometimes it's just not a problem and you just go straight on and everything is perfect and like you're done in like 10 minutes. I'd still put my average at like about 10 minutes set up. That video took probably about a little bit longer. I don't know, I'll dub in something after this, however long it was. 20 minutes. But yeah, so sometimes you have to readjust and the soil is all going to make a big difference. You need really, really deep stakes. Soil might trickly about and yeah even this right now the setup that I have right now I still think the angles are off and not like totally perfect and it's one of those tents that like it's it kind of has that little bit of variation so you can kind of get anal about it and uh, that's, I mean I guess that's one one bad thing about the tent <laughs> I don't know I'd love to come up with more bad things about the tent it's uh, it's not insulated well the uh, floor is bad I'm also just bad at uh, being preventative of the damage that I do onto the floor. But uh, I mean, the floor floor is very thin. Floor material is. Um, and yeah, yellow's easy. Little table in the middle is getting gross. Uh, there's really not much else that I can think of that I don't like about this yurt. I think anybody should get this yurt until the prices keep going up. Because if y'all are liking this yurt, then they're, then they're just going to keep driving the price up. So get it now before it all goes up. <laughs> but seriously, it is kind of cool. And I know I keep calling it a yurt and some people get angry at that. It's just how Walmart advertises. So I call it the Walmart yurt. But it is technically a bell tent. So if you guys are interested in, in tents and how they work, or different structures or, you know, history of Mongolia or something, or, yeah, bell tent. It's actually a military style tent for a long time. Something we're checking out, besides this. This is not like an official bell tent. I think, I think they weren't, maybe they weren't able to call it a bell tent because of, well, I mean, yurt is definitely better marketing. Maybe bell tent also has better material, but it could all just be in the shape. Comment, let me know. I don't know about that. But, yeah, yurt. Screw it. I call it a yurt. Deal with it. It's fun. It's a yurt. Yurt. Okay. So, like I said, this guy's been up for about a month or so right now. Just chilling out in the backyard, dealing with some relatively harsh weather, but you know, not like, I mean, a decent amount of wind. We actually had enough wind that one of these blew out, but just 
blame the soil on that one. That was an easy fix too, or one of the uh, one one of the one of the one one of the strings. The the stakes fell out, or fell out of the stake. But yeah, so it's it's been holding up, and I don't really see any other uh, real things to come with it, lest any uh, damage occurs. It it will be. We'll be getting a decent bit of use this summer, so we'll see. I might post something at some point just to show like how it started off like white and then it's gonna be brown or something, but man, that's, that's kind of lame. But nonetheless, it's a great little yurt. And yeah, if you like this sort of thing, whether it's like reviews or just outdoor adventure, camping, lifestyle, crafting, creativity, all those sort of things, like check out some of my other videos, like like or subscribe. Be, I'd very much appreciate it. It's, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not like trying to become like a YouTuber or anything, but like, you know, I'm, I'm a creative, as they say, and like, I mean, I have to do some sort of social media, I guess. I freaking, I, I kind of gave up with that crap like in like 2012, and now I'm like, not, not really a part of the world right now. So, come and watch some of my stuff. Like it, dislike it. I don't care. Come and watch some of it. Like, subscribe, sure. All that stuff. Okay, I love you.